So one really important feature of Flutterflow is the use of what's called a snapshots. Now the whole idea of the snapshots is that if you are building your application out and you kind of get to a certain point, you kind of think, ah, something's gone wrong or I don't kind of like what's happened here. I want to revert back to a previous point in time. You can do that using snapshots. There's obviously other ways to do it in Flutterflow itself. You can be creating kind of branches and you could be kind of producing features and then you can kind of merge those features into your main project and then create another branch and then you can then start creating kind of features on another branch and kind of merge that in. That's one way of also protecting yourself from perhaps mistakes so you might be kind of creating a branch and you kind of then do some changes and you kind of think actually that's not really what I want so you can kind of scrap that branch and kind of get back to where you want now the thing is with snapshots is that it's very very easy and a very very convenient way for you to kind of revert a change that you would make in your particular project but there are some caveats to it depending on which plan you are on with inside Flutterflow. now I'll cover that in just a moment but let's talk a little bit about what snapshots are so here we have a brand new Flutterflow project I've made no changes to this whatsoever um, so what I'm gonna do I've just kind of cloned one of my templates and I'm just gonna kind of make some changes to it so let's start with the title here and I'm just going to say application title something like that and I'm going to put some uh, some some content in here this is a test header something like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of leave that um, I, I might want to go now and kind of go to my widget tree here and I might want to kind of like duplicate a page let's kind of now say home page number two something like that um, and then maybe I might want to kind of maybe change the button title here so this is a button like that and maybe I can then just go into this column here and I can just kind of maybe align that uh, to perhaps in fact let me just flip the column there um, let me just now sort of uh, justify that on the main axis alignment at the top so um, I've made some changes to my project um, now I can go up to this particular option up here up to the top here this little version control here now everything is kind of uh, encapsulated here but there's this little option called snapshots which is quite often overlooked by um, sort of sort of new builders within inside Flutterflow itself so you just click on snapshots here you can see here now I've kind of got this Tuesday June the 24th and it's got one particular snapshot here and this is a minute ago now what I could do is I can kind of just wait a little bit I can make another change so let's now maybe let's just go here and let's Let's maybe just duplicate this button, something like that. Let's duplicate a few buttons a bit more like that. Now, if I can now go back up to here, now a chance I may not have a refresh, and I may only see that one change. There's only one particular snapshot on this particular day. But if I now just come out of my project and just go back in, if I go back up here, and if I go back to my snapshots, if I look here I've now got two snapshots if I select that you can see I've got a moment ago and I've got two minutes ago so what I can do is I can kind of now preview this particular change I want to go back and have a look at it so let's go to the one that's maybe two minutes ago and select that that's now going to kind of almost feel like I'm going into a different project you can kind of see now I'm able to see a preview so I'm kind of like have a look at the widget tree here I can kind of see kind of where I was and think actually that's where I want to be and I can go back up to the snapshot return back to my kind of main Flutterflow project and kind of get to where I want to be so once that comes up now if I uh, just go here and uh, so I'm just looking at my home page there there is by the way the home page too because I was wondering when my buttons are gone so if I go back up here of course now I'll go back to my version control go to the snapshots and when I'll go back into that particular one and because I want to go back to that one two minutes ago if I now revert that and just say yes now all of those changes have disappeared I've lost that particular page and right back to where I wanted to be the one that I kind of had a little peek at so it's a really really quick way of kind of getting back and reverting changes that you perhaps don't like with inside your particular project now I just want to cover some important points because again it, like I said at the beginning it depends what kind of uh, sort of plan you are on with inside of Flutterflow so I'm just gonna kind of head back here now this is the kind of the Flutterflow homepage as of June um, in terms of kind of the, the feature set there is going to be some changes to this um, in 2025 but you can kind of see here that I'm um, pretty well much most of the plans here would include the ability for version control you can just kind of see that kind of selected here and not say anything more about it but it just says version control control um, there's nothing about snapshots or anything like that so you know you get that with inside the free plan you know you get that with inside the current uh, 
standard plan with inside Flutterflow. Now the thing is, is that this free and the standard plan currently, if you are on those, only contains virtual control um, for one day of snapshots. So this is the, the snapshot feature is only one day. So you want to make sure that if you are going to revert back, you do that with inside that particular day. Now if you are on the pro plan, then you've kind of got a more a longer amount of snapshots that are uh, maintained. Now, don't quote me on this, but I think it's about three days worth of snapshots under the pro plan itself, which should be more than enough time for you to be able to revert back. Now, the thing is, is if you now, if I just now move to this here, this is the new 2025 kind of proposed pricing that's going to change, and there's going to be significant changes here for snapshots themselves. So here is the new, uh, the free plan here. And if I move down here, you can see that um, I've got the snapshots. It's only literally one. An hour so you're going to really kind of dent your limitation to quickly revert back so if you know you are making uh, or you're creating something you really don't like the look of you've only got an hour's worth of captured now the basic plan is now only going to be the one day which is the kind of the equivalent to what you have right now um, now of course if you're in the growth plan then that's up to three days that should be more than enough and I think for most projects I think even one day is enough to kind of get back for snapshots themselves so just bear that one in mind. That is the new pricing um, that's going to commence from August and um, the features that are part of the plan. But I just wanted to point out in this particular video, kind of the power of kind of snapshots, certainly for more newcomers um, or people that kind of not really sort of come across that particular feature with inside a flood of flow. Of course, there are other features such as a kind of Git kind of style, kind of version control. I can kind of cover that in a different video, but I just wanted to point that out um, just in this very, very simple video video talking about snapshots.